Good evening. Thanks so much for watching on a Sunday night. This is 27 News at 10 and I'm David George. May is Brain Cancer Awareness Month and for one area family that means a lot. 27 News reporter Drew Gill sat down with a local family who's been affected by the disease in a big way. Morgan Cotman was just 15 years old when she lost her life to a rare and incurable brain tumor known as DIPG. This November will be 10 years since she died. Her mom, Christine, says she still thinks about Morgan's sense of humor. She was very bubbly and funny and um, laughed a lot. Dr. Kevin Ginn is a pediatric brain cancer specialist at Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. He was also Morgan's doctor. He says DIPG is very aggressive and usually only affects children. DIPG specifically is one of the tumors that from the first day I meet the family, I have to tell them their child is most likely going to die within two years. Dr. Ginn says even facing such a grim situation, he remembers Morgan being a real jokester. Morgan specifically, I remember being a, you know, fun to see, very pleasant in clinic always, um, joking around with us. Christine says even when things were at their worst, Morgan never lost that sense of humor. Both Christine and Dr. Ginn recalled the time he talked to Morgan on the phone while he was at a conference in Florida. I had traveled to South Beach without anything to wear that was appropriate for going to the beach. So she was making fun of me. She goes, you big dummy. You're in Florida and you didn't even go to the beach. Ginn says about 300 kids are diagnosed with DIPG every year in the United States. He says despite many drug trials, there hasn't been any real advancement in treatment for decades. This disease is rare um, and it is devastating to families and, and deserves more support from a funding for research so that we can cure these kids. I asked Christine and Morgan's dad, Jerry, what advice they would give to another family in their situation. They said to simply keep remembering. They have a couple traditions to do just that. The last Christmas she was here, she gave everybody a gift and she didn't want to wrap anything, so it was all in a bag. Every year for Christmas, I buy a gift of some sort and I put it in that same bag. Everybody gets a gift from Morgan every year, so it goes in that same her bag with her handwriting. Right after Morgan's death, her parents got a card from their 10-year-old niece. Christine says they still have it today and that it has some pretty good advice from Dr. Seuss. Don't cry because it's over, but smile because it happened. And she said, Morgan wouldn't want you to be sad. She wants you to be happy that you got to spend all those years with her. To find out how you can help DIPG research efforts or learn more about the disease, you can go to our website, which of course is KSNT.com.